Good day, and welcome to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. My name is John Vest, and I'm one of the ministers here at the church. You tell mommy to come right now and not in just a minute. That's what six-year-old Byron said every night for several years. At our house, mommy would usually put three-year-old Melanie to bed while I read and sang to our son. We usually read a couple of books and then said our prayers. For a long time, I'd sing. Byron's favorite songs had been If a Picture by David Gates and the group Bread, the children's song Hush Little Baby, and For All the Saints from the hymnal. And believe it or not, these were all by request. There was even a spell when he wanted church songs and especially Christmas songs. After a while, I would tell Byron I'm going to get mommy, knowing he was about to fall asleep, something to this day that apparently pains him in some deep way, he would say, tell mommy to come right now and not in just a minute. <laughs> it really was a sign of affection because he didn't want to complete the day without her presence in his room. During this season of Advent, this time before Christmas, you and I sit by an empty manger. We sing songs, we say prayers, and, and wait for the mother of the Christ child to come with God's gift to the world. After so many months, the wait can now be understood in terms of days, hours, even minutes. We're about to celebrate the birth of the Savior, not in just a minute, but right now. Waiting with our children can be one of the most important aspects of our relationship. We talk and laugh. Sometimes we simply sit. But there is nothing simple about what happens there, is it? It's there that fatherhood and motherhood take shape. It's there that young boys and young girls develop the bonds that really do last a lifetime. The enormous joy and responsibility of what that means is experienced and understood in the wait. So, my friend, we wait. The Savior is coming. Let us sing and pray. Let us sit in silence. Let us rejoice in relationship. For the day, this day, will not be complete without the presence of Christ in our lives. So let it be. Amen. Amen.